there he is, Caesar Sayak. Oh man, Caesar Sayak. It is with sadness in my heart that I must report that Caesar Sayak was sentenced yesterday to 20, 20 years in prison. 20 years in prison. Although we knew it was coming because he had pleaded uh, guilty uh, to, to doing all this stuff, sending bombs to 16 prominent Democrats. Bombs, alleged bombs, bombs that didn't go off, bombs that weren't detonatable. Dead bombs, duds. He sent duds full of, full of firecracker powder and, and, and stuff wrapped around cheap clocks. Uh, do we even know he did it? So, so it's, it's official, right? So there you go. Let's take a look. New York Post is reporting. All the major media is reporting. Uh, where is it? Yeah, all the major media is reporting that uh, Caesar Sayoc MAGA bomber, Caesar Sayak sentenced to 20 years in prison. This is last night. A Manhattan federal judge has sentenced MAGA bomber, Caesar Sayak, to 20 years in prison with five years suspended release. So the story's over. Like I said, you know, he, he pleaded guilty, which means we'll never see the, um, we'll never see the evidence against him. He was swiftly brought from Florida to the Southern District of New York, now the, the, the Jeffrey Epstein court and where, where all the you know, top criminals are placed for holding and torture. And within six months, they cracked him and got him to say that he did it. He did it, although the evidence was not on the table that he did it. We never, we never saw any evidence. We never saw any bomb-making equipment. We never saw any, anything, really, just a lot. The allegation that there was a fingerprint on something. <laughs> so, so Judge Jad Rakoff, Jad Rakoff, <laughs> you got to be careful with that one. Judge Jackoff said Monday the sentence was no more and no less than what Sayak deserved. After defense attorneys argued their client should serve just 10 years of a potential life sentence. Quote, I conclude, this is the judge, I conclude that Sayak though no firearms expert, was capable of making bombs capable of exploding, Jackoff said. The fact that he made them unable to explode was a conscious choice. Hmm. A 57-year-old man, so it, it doesn't even matter at this point. Once you admit that you did it, I, which Sayak did, he was, remember about six months ago, he was in court crying, oh my God, I, fucking, I can't believe I did it. Uh, for in the beginning, he was not guilty, and uh, then all of a sudden, he's crying that he did it. The 57-year-old Florida man testified, terrified the country in October last year when he sent 16 improv explosive devices to prominent liberals, including Hillary Clinton, Joe Biden, Barack Obama, Robert De Niro, and the CNN headquarters in Atlanta. Oh, in Atlanta. Oh, they said they sent it to New York. Remember when they... When they they switched the ball there, fucking. <laughs> <laughs> now it's Atlanta. You remember when first it was New York. Right? Remember I went down there. You remember the shit I went down to the court. I went down to the CNN building in New York when they said that, and now they switched it to Atlanta. It's funny. I just caught that. It's appropriate for the court to impose the very highest sentence available," said Rakoff. In court Monday, Sayoc's lawyer said he was suffering from mental illness and paranoia when he became obsessed with Donald Trump, claiming the president's hateful diatribes, diatribes contributed to his client's actions. <laughs> the president's 
hateful. Uh, it was impossible to separate the political climate from Mr. Syak's actions, defense attorney Ian Marcus Alimov said. But prosecutors argued Syak knew exactly what he was doing when he made the pipe bombs filled with explosive chemicals and shrouds of glass and mailed them over a two-week period last October. This was not a whim or reaction to one mo uh, moment in time, said the Attorney General, the, the state United States Attorney. It was years and years of hate and a desire to do violence. The bombs weren't real, they're fake bombs, right? And, and we don't even know if he sent them. Sayak, a, tr a Trump devotee, was nabbed in October last year after, a, after leaving a fingerprint on the envelope of a second device he mailed to Rep. Maxine Waters. Hmm. Hmm. Fingerprint. The devices were uh, missing a key component that could have triggered the detonation, according to the FBI. While none of the devices, the devices detonated, prosecutors sought life for Sayak. Sayak pleaded guilty earlier this year and claimed he never intended for the devices to actually blow up and harm anyone. The Brooklyn-born man appeared nervous as he read from a statement at his sentencing Monday, apologizing in front of his family, who were in court and claimed his steroid abuse contributed to his mental illness. Quote, Now that I am a sober man, I know that I was very sick man, a very sick man. I should have listened to my mother, the love of my life, when she told me to get help. In, his, in their sentencing submission, uh, defense attorney requested the mandatory minimum sentence of 10 years, saying the client suffered from mental illness and delusions amplified by decades of steroid use. They say Sayak became uh, increasingly obsessive, paranoid, and angry in the months leading up to the 2018 midterm elections that was socially uh, uh, isolated. He was socially isolated, living in a decrepit and cramped van for more than a decade. <laughs> well, he actually said he liked it. In this darkness, Mr. Sayak found light in Donald Trump, wrote St S S Sayak's attorneys from Federal Defense of New York, <clears throat> Defenders of New York. He believed stories shared on Facebook that Trump supporters were being beaten in the street. <clears throat> Some of them were. Sayak began working in strip clubs in the 1990s, first as a bouncer, later as a dancer, and started taking steroids to stay muscle-bound, court papers stated. Over a two-week period, Sayak sent pipe bombs to 13 targets, including Maxine Waters, George Soros, Clinton, uh, Hillary Clinton, Biden, former CIA Director John Brannon, Robert De Niro, former Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, Barack Obama, former Attorney General Eric Holder, Cory Booker, Camilla Harris, and hedge fund billionaire Tom Steyer, and CNN. In March, Sayak broke down in court as he pleaded guilty to 65 counts, including 16 counts of using a weapon of mass destruction. So... Here's some uh, imagery, some drawings from the from the court. This is Fox reporting. He's crying. Oh, please. No, oh, my mother's got 10 years. So he's 56, 57. How old? 57, 67, 77. 20 years from now, he'll be 77. If he can get out on some good conduct, maybe he'll, maybe he'll be out, you know, in, um, who knows, maybe 15 years. Eh, real shame, you know. The amateur bodybuilder was Aventura apologized. Let's look at some of the videos. Remember this? Remember what you remember Caesar said? Reported live here, sit down, be loud, huh? Yes, and uh, we, we may do a few acts for you, like splish, splash, take the band. <laughs> Lighten up on the backstroke. <laughs> Rubber ducky, you're the one. You make every day so much fun. Live from City Out Beach, Florida, where every day is paradise. And every day for you guys is mountain men. $5 buys you 12 tickets, a food processor, a luggage to go to Hawaii with us. We're going to give you the hottest seat in the house. 
with the ring of fire with all these gentlemen tonight and ladies right now in the hottest seat. How many ladies want to go backstage and rub oil on all the gentlemen tonight? Right now, get a hold of Mr. Jed Rock. We got coming sick and star of the future right there. One ticket for one dollar. Five tickets buys you twelve tickets. Get a hold of them right now for the next two minutes, 69 seconds. We're gonna bring them to you live and on center right now. So step right up, ladies. Come on down. One ticket for one dollar. Five tickets buys you twelve. Remember this one? This is when the cops remember the Romeo, cops it's a Florida tag. G four B L R. It's a white van, one person's inside. He can see us, there we go. Hey. You all right, buddy? Yes, sir. Uh, listen, someone I called and they were concerned about you. Uh, I just got done uh, working up at um, the Ultra Nightclub. Ultra Nightclub? Yeah, I work till 6 o'clock. Okay. And I, uh, part of LA Fitness, I was going to go here and then I have to go back to work. So you were working out at LA Fitness? Can't hear you. No, I'm, I'm working out at okay. LA Fitness and then I'm going uh, back up to work in about, uh, I'm going to be there by 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yes, sir. Okay, so we just rest? Uh, 12 o'clock. Then work till nine o'clock. <laughs> then I gotta come back to Ultra. So are you done working out? Or you just getting ready to work out. See so you. Ah, had... uh, Caesar so say, I don't believe he did it. You know, I still don't believe. Oh, you remember when I sent him the letter? Ah, look at the letter. You wanna see the letter? Oh, if it's today, the Sunday, November eleventh. Hello, Caesar. I'm gonna read it to you. So you. When I wanted to go visit him, you remember I, I wanted I was gonna visit him in jail. I sent it to the Manhattan Correctional Center in New York. I had his number right. I just checked. Um, I just checked the uh, Manhattan Correctional uh, um, Center, and he's still there. He hasn't been shuffled out to federal prison yet. But uh, I, I offered. I offered to come up and interview him, and I never got a response. So just to answer, everybody asked me, "Did Caesar say I respond?" I was like, "No, he never did. He never. He never answered." Maybe if he gets cozy, if he's local, if he ends up in a in a federal prison close by, I would love to go, you know, interview the guy, you know. Or um, or when CNN, you remember, I was at C I chased down CNN. That I, that's funny that the story today is saying that it was the Atlanta CNN, but initially it was the New York. What CNN. do we got right here? That they that a messenger. What do we have off. here? What does it say? You remember, I went up there and I went to the messenger center at CNN. There's so many holes in this story. Right? There's just there's just so many holes that it's it's hard to believe. I mean, my coverage was was extensive. You know, I, um, it saddens me to tell you know to to know that the guy's going to sit in jail for 20 years. Uh, even Trump said it. He stopped the tremendous momentum, the bombing. You know, uh, it doesn't make sense. You know, it doesn't make sense that that a Trump supporter would want to stop a tremendous momentum. Here's where he pleads guilty. Remember we did a little Halloween party. There's a trove of videos if you want to watch about Caesar Sayoc. Just go to my channel and then um, and search, you know, search the channel. Just put in Caesar Sayoc and you'll see all these videos. I was in the court that day when he um, was first there as kind of a proof of life. What else can I say about this? His lawyer that was encouraging him to pretend that he was crazy. The Young Turks calling it hate speech. He's hateful. Uh, what else? You know, so many, so many other videos. Uh, when he was first arrested in custody at 56 years old, I did the report from the, uh, from the steps. Showed you that was the first time I showed you where Manhattan Criminal Court was. <laughs> the, uh, the alleged the bomb, right? So, there's you know, not a good thing. So, those are the bridge of size that lead from the gym. Remember, what a stroll down memory lane. So, Marcus Conti reporting Caesar Sayoc. This pretty much ends the story of Caesar Sayoc. <clears throat> we never got to see his, he never got a day in court. We never got to see any evidence against him. He ended up in the Southern District of New York, and within six months he took that plea, 
And um, and now he's off to jail for 15, 20 years. Did he do it? I don't know. We will never know. This is the state of our system right now. We we just don't know anymore. We don't. You're guilty until you can prove your innocence. And all the time you're trying to prove your innocence, they're torturing you. Why wasn't he tried down in Florida in the proper court? Why was he shuffled off to the frying pan, New York? You know, so. Anyway, Marcus Conte reporting. And, uh, you know, we say, say, we say cheers to, uh, we say cheers, so one last goodbye to this man, you know, Caesar Sayak. He was a noble, it was a noble fight. Right? He he spoke up. I, I just I get again in my heart of hearts, it doesn't make sending bombs right, but the point is it just doesn't seem it doesn't seem like we heard enough evidence to to confirm that this is what happened. You know, it's just it just doesn't seem right. So uh you know, that is my ongoing <laughs> my ongoing uh assessment of this thing. Marcus Conte reporting.